Okay, um, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, we're going to keep this nice and simple, guys. You've got a lot of notes there, and we're going to we're going to cut out a lot of notes that you're not going to need to do. So let's start here with our simple triangles. Okay. Okay, so inside a triangle, there's 180 degrees, right? You know what Pythagorean theorem is. There's Pythagorean theorem. That's all going to be on a formula sheet. You don't need to memorize it. And then we've got trigonometry. And you've done this in grade 10 math. You should know how to do it. Um, so sine of x is equal to opposite over hypotenuse tan x cosine. This is oftentimes what we're going to be using right there. Okay, you're going to put these on your formula sheet. You're not going to memorize them. We're not interested in doing the math and memorization. You put those down that you simply learn how to do those things. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples here. Okay, sign law. First thing, line through. Done. We don't need that. Okay, that's kind of grade 12 uh, physics, um, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay. So, give the direction of the resultant for each of the vectors shown below. This is called the resultant. Okay. And it says the horizontal is 63. And find the other two. Okay, let's take a look here. X is the angle. Okay, let's take a look here. One. What we're going to do here is notice this is three and this is four on your sheet. You're not, we're not dealing with one or two. I don't know if one or two are there, but we're just going to do three and four. Got it? So, what we have here is we got to find this guy right here. I've got 63 right here. I want to find this one here and I want to find the resultant. So cosine of, look here, this is 15. This is going back to grade 10 math. 15 is here. I've got adjacent, it's attached, is adjacent. So adjacent over the hypotenuse and I got to find the hypotenuse. I have to rearrange it. So hypotenuse is equal to 63 over cosine 15, and the answer is 65.2. Okay, danger, Will Robinson, danger. Is your calculator in degrees? If you don't have it in degrees, it won't work out. So here's the thing. Cosine of 45 is 0.707. If that if that's not giving you the correct answer, you got to figure out how your calculator is going to be in degrees. Always check it out. In fact, sine of whoops of um, 45 is 0 0.707 as well. So if you punch in sine of 45 cosine, it's always going to give you 707. If not, it's not in degrees. Check it out. Okay. Find the opposite or the second, this guy right here. What I want to do is I can use tangent. The tangent of the angle, which is 15, is opposite over the adjacent. So which means it is tangent of 15 over second over the 63. Rearrange it. Second is going to be 69.5 meters per second. Notice I'm doing vectors. It's always in, deg in degrees or simply directly north. Okay, number four. We're told that this is 63. Was. Um, 
yeah, the 75 is here. Okay, my mistake, 75 is right there. And so what we have here is we're trying to figure out uh, the resultant, which is right here. So if I go sine, oh, again, there's a mistake there. I'm not sure what happened there. This is supposed to be the sine is opposite. There we go. There we go. Okay. Slight mistake there. We're back in business here. Okay, so this is 75 is right there. And so that's going to be sine of 75 is opposite over the resultant, which is 63, because always 63 is the, the horizontal one. And divided by the resultant gives me uh, resultant over 65 over sine of 75 degrees, or 65.2. Uh, meters per second, 75 degrees east of north. Okay, find the first. So this is what we want to do here. We're going to switch to cosine is, oh, and there's that slight mistake again. I'm going to correct that one. It's not opposite. It is adjacent. And so we're going to continue on here. Adjacent, so we have uh, 65.3 cosine, okay, 16.9 meters per second north. So this is 16.9 meters uh, per second north. Simple enough. Okay, let's take a look at this one. I think we're going to end just with a few of these. We're going to causal, we're just going to X through a lot of different ones there. An explosion takes place, and we define the place of the explosion right here at the origin. There are seven places where pieces of a bomb land. Calculate the horizontal and vertical components of each. Calculate the resultant and its angle. If each piece lands five seconds after the explosion, what's the velocity of each place? Each square is on the root is one meter. So that's going to be easy enough for us to do. Let's look at number one. This is what we have here. It's going to go right there. So what we have here is one, two, three. It looks like that's four. And that's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's eight down there. So I'm gonna have to use what? Four over oh look at look, I'm I need to find the hypotenuse. What do I need to do? I need to use the Pythagorean theorem. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna black, I'm gonna make this this is your next page there. I'll move that guy up there. That tells you how long the class actually has been. So you've been on here a long time. There we go. Okay, there we have it. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. This is point one. Eight up, four, eight right, four up. So I'm going to find the hypotenuse. Uh, and I'm going to need to find the angle too. So I can use 10 for the angle. Uh, so that's four over eight. Ooh, what do I have to do there now? I have to change my calculator, don't I? I have to use that minus one button there. Remember in grade uh, 10 math, how did we do that? Okay, so it's 26.3 degrees north uh, of east. Okay, in order to understand how to do that, you might have to go to another YouTube clip where we talked about that later. Um, anyway, 26.3 degrees north. Uh, if you actually gr did this on a piece of graph paper, you could actually measure it out. It would be about 25 degrees if you did it on paper. The next thing is we have to find the hypotenuse, or, uh, which is simply enough. And there it is there. It's a squared plus b squared. 8 squared plus 4 squared. Gives me a square root of 80. That looks like it's going to be close to 9 times 9 is 81, is it not? That gives me 8.9 meters. But that's not my direction. That's the magnitude of the direction. So I'm going to have to put them both together. So it is 8.9 meters, 26 degrees, oh sorry, north, north, 
which one to north of east that's the one that I don't like to do so you could say east 26.6 degrees north east 26 point degrees north simple enough let's do number two here's number two you don't even have to do anything do you oh wait a minute we want to do velocity do we not okay the velocity is 8.9 meters uh, meters in five seconds that's going to give me just plug that in your calculator that's simple enough 1.8 meters per second but again this is the same direction now let's go on to number two that's easy enough what's it going to be one two three four five six what's the displacement six meters north what's the velocity six divided by five what is it one point something north let's take a look here oh did we do two? Oh no it looks like we're doing three Okay, so there it is there. We need to find out the displacement. And there's number two. Okay, point two. Looks like we do have number two there. That's simple enough. What is it? We said there's no horizontal displacement, only vertical. So six meters north. Velocity is one point, approximately one meter per second. 1.2 meters, oh, so 1.2 meter, uh, meters per second north. Simple enough. Point three. Okay, eight west, eight north, right? If you add them up, eight and eight. What's the angle here? Construction guys, you should know. That should be 45 directly, right? So, find the angle. 10 is op opposite over adjacent which is eight over eight. That gives me one or that gives me a grand total of 45 degrees. Find the hypotenuse. There we go, a squared plus b squared. So it's gonna be eight squared plus eight squared. So 64 plus 64 is 128, 11.3 meters per sec, uh, meters rather, or the displacement is Um, 45 degrees north of east. Um, this is the one in which you can only, this is the only time that you can simply say um, 11.3 meters north west. That's the only time. 45 is the unique one. So you simply say northwest. Okay, on velo I'm sorry, we're trying to get velocity. So here is 11.3 meters. And again, it takes five seconds to do it. So 2.3 meters per second, 45 degrees north of west, same as below. Or 2.3 meters per second northwest. Okay, you can figure out the rest there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Done. We're not going to do this one. Okay. We're not going to do this one. Okay. Forget about that slide. Okay. Done. Okay. So here is our, these are homework questions. They have the answers there, I think, already. Okay, this brings us to the end of velocity. This is an hour long. God bless you. You've done some really hard work.